show you how to make biodiesel in the lab, starting with some vegetable oil or some store-bought oil. Before you begin, you need to make sure you have all of your safety equipment on. So I'm going to put on my goggles. You need gloves because the methanol we're going to be using is poisonous. The KOH that we're going to be using, the potassium hydroxide, it can harm your skin if it comes into contact. So make sure you put those on. And then finally, you need a lab coat or a lab apron. Once you get all your safety equipment on, go ahead and get your lab procedure in front of you. Make sure you have all your materials, glassware, and equipment prepared. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is to measure out 300 milliliters of your oil. I've got some canola oil. Remember that you always want to measure in a graduated cylinder. So pour 300 milliliters of your oil in the cylinder and then you're going to transfer it to a large beaker, at least 500 milliliters. Once the oil is in the beaker, you're going to heat this oil. It needs to be heated to about 45 degrees Celsius. So we're going to put it on the hot plate. We want to put a stir bar in there with it. The stir is going to make sure that the oil heats evenly. Now to keep track of your oil, you want to put a thermometer in there with it. And it's going to sit there and stir until it comes to the correct temperature. You want to keep this reaction between 40 and 50 degrees. If you go much above 50 degrees, the methanol that's going to be in the reaction is going to evaporate and you're not going to get any product. So don't let it get too hot. The next step is to get 60 milliliters of methanol. And remember, methanol is poisonous, so make sure your gloves and your apron are on during this step. You're going to measure 60 milliliters of methanol in a graduated cylinder, and you're going to put it in an Erlenmeyer flask. Once you've done that, you've got to add some potassium hydroxide to this methanol. The potassium hydroxide is the catalyst for the reaction. So use your electronic balance. Make sure you use a weighing boat and zero the balance before you begin. You're going to measure out 6 grams of this high potassium hydroxide into here. Once you have it measured out, you're going to slowly add it to the methanol and swirl this until it all dissolves. This is now called methoxide. And you are going to add the methoxide to the oil once it has warmed up. Now at this point in the procedure, I am all the way down to step number six. Slowly add the methoxide solution to the oil. You want to just take this and pour it directly into your oil beaker here. It says to add it slowly because you don't want a large change in temperature as you're adding this cool liquid to this warmer oil. So just take your time and add it slowly. Once you do that, you're going to be able to let this sit for at least one hour. It's going to continue to stir. When the reaction is finished, you're going to take your product and you're going to pour all of this into a separatory funnel. Before you pour into the separatory funnel, make sure that it is closed. When the stopper here is perpendicular to the spout, that is the closed position. Parallel to the spout would be the on position. Don't pour it this way. So I'm going to hang the funnel here in the rack. Use the magnet holder to keep the stir bar from pouring out. You're going to carefully pour it all in there. And your product is going to sit here and separate. Overnight is ideal, but if you don't have that long, just let it sit for a couple of hours. And when you come back, hopefully you are going to see two layers. There's going to be a biodiesel layer and there's going to be a glycerin layer. And that's what you need to know before you start making your body.